In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome back. A new course, uh, and we uh, commend to the Lord this new course, um, your teachers, yourselves, and also we offer this Mass for the eternal rest of Juan Jose, and also for the healing, the physical and spiritual healing of Tom Connolly. Before we celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are the people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, 
his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gates of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this, the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Every time the Lord performs a miracle, there is a message behind it. There is something that the Lord wants to tell us. In this case, he um, arise uh, a man from the dead. Uh, and, and he's telling us his future resurrection. Of course, there is a difference between the resurrection of this young man and the resurrection of Christ. The resurrection of Christ was forever, and the resurrection of this man was uh, temporarily. It, 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 this young man died again, uh, maybe some years uh, after. Uh, but what the Lord is telling us also is that He has come to set us free from death, from our own death, which is sin. Every time we sin, we die. We die for the Lord, we die, we die for ourselves, or we die for others. And the Lord has come to rescue you and to set you free from your sin, from your own death, Where can we experience this resurrection? Yeah. Because it is, you know, the Lord has come to set me free. The Lord has come to rescue me, to give me life. Uh, to give me new life, the resurrection. Now, how can I experience this? First, the Lord is telling us there is life after death. Okay, but we can be um, resurrected now on earth 
Every time you go to confession, you, have, you are being resurrected by Christ. I don't know if you have felt this, but every time I have gone uh, to confession, I feel released. I, fe I feel that uh, there is peace, there is no burdens on my back. Go to confession and you will have a new life, a new opportunity to start over again, a new opportunity to love the Lord and to love your neighbor with new hope, with new faith, with new love. Yeah. When, when, you know, I, I have seen that, that, that sin affects even our image, our appearance. When someone is full of the grace uh, of God, that person um, shares joy, peace. You can experience it. Uh, but, but, but when someone is dead in life, when someone is dead in life, that person transmits you uh, sadness, um, hopelessness. Uh, that person cannot transmit you the joy of the gospel, the joy of, of knowing Christ. That person, for example, is always complaining, is, how, is always mad at someone, is always uh, criticizing. It's, it's not, all, it's not, that person is not, um, in peace ever so one of the things that the resurrection of Christ his forgiveness one of the things that his forgiveness gives us is the joy and the peace to start over, over again and to love again to smile to smile again to give you an opportunity and to give the other an opportunity when, when we are filled of the presence of the Lord, we're able to forgive and give another opportunity to the person who has offended us. You know, uh, you, you are a source of hope and joy for others. Since you are teachers, you have to become a source of joy and of the presence of the Lord for the little ones. They must see in you the presence of the Lord. Remember, you are Christian teachers. You should be like a bridge between the Lord and, and the others. The others sh should be able to see on your face the face of the love and mercy of our Lord. And in order to do so, you must have a, a, a life full of prayer, a, a life full of the presence of the Lord, a, a life of of hope and that's only possible when you go for example to confession when you say Lord have mercy on me Lord I need your help Lord I need to be renewed by your grace I need to be restored by your mercy I need to be filled with your joy and with your peace uh, so that I can be able to fulfill my mission uh, um, St. Paul says in the first reading you are one body and each part of the body has something to do. The prophets have to prophesy. The teachers have to teach. Um, the healers have to heal. Huh? But what if, if, if I go by my own, ignoring the others? The body doesn't function. Huh? The body doesn't work properly we need to do our job out of joy out of love out of gratitude having experienced the love and mercy of God in union with the others I cannot just go by my own doing whatever I want I to have to work as a group as one body unity is very important for us to fulfill the mission that the Lord has given us, that the Lord has given to you as teachers. So, once again, the Lord has come to set us free, to rescue us from our own death, the death of our sins, to give us joy and happiness 
and peace, for us to be that channel of grace and joy for others. The others should be able to see in us the mercy, the joy that come from the Lord. Let us pray in silence. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the Church and the world. For the apostles and teachers of the Church, first in rank among the Spirit's gifted ones, that their words may be respected and their deeds be worthy of their office, let us pray to the Lord. That great prophets may arise in the world today, gifted with power to raise hopes to life and find ways to defend human dignity and uphold God's justice. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us in the church, baptized in one spirit into one body, members of one another, under Jesus our head, that all may work to build her up in harmony and in beauty, let us pray to the Lord. For widows, for those who have been bereaved, for the families of those who, with terminal illness, that the Savior may be moved to pity for them and dry up their tears with his peace, let us pray to the Lord. For our dear departed ones, that Jesus may raise them up to new life with the same power he showed the young man who had died in today's gospel, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the physical and spiritual healing of Tom Colony and also for the eternal rest of Juan Jose, let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, hear our petitions and grant what we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always, and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread through all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we remember to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. And us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.